We're going to install uh, Bellabox on the rig computer J1010 today. Um, normally, uh, you need to power this up with a battery bank. Um, I'm using the Anchor uh, PD power bank here, a USB-C port, and a the memory stick is uh, 32 gigs. You could probably get away with a bit smaller one. Um, keyboard, better check that that's on. Great. So. I have a LAN connection here and then I have the HDMI cable plugged in and we get this power now. I'm going to power it initially from uh, mains power supply. That's uh, board booting up there. I might need to need to do some adjustments here. The rig computer J1010 um, that were produced after July 2022 have a micro SD port on the board, but it can't be used for booting. So you'll need to have um, a memory stick either way form a shape to install this. You have to go through the installation process first. Okay, we'll power this off again. And we'll start with uh, flashing the USB stick. So first of all, we'll be going to bellabox.net. Um, this is where you find all your bits and pieces. There is the video, the introduction video. And um, what we need is the latest Bellabox installer for the production Jetson Nano module with EMC. That's the same thing as the uh, real computer. As I already said, there is on some of these boards, there is a micro SD port on the board, but it's actually not usable. So pulling the image out of um, the archive here. Okay, I'm going to close this off. Uh, plugging the USB key into the computer. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to, going to format the drive. Um, make sure that it is the USB key and not a normal hard drive that you're formatting. Okay, and close this and then we start the Berlin Nature. I pick the file that we have downloaded, obviously the one for the EMMC one. Select target again, make sure that you get the right drive, in this case the SoundDisk USB uh, key that, that I have. And then hit flash. Now, that's going to take a while, so you might as well go off and get some coffee. Two thousand years later. So, and finished. Finally. So we close this. We eject the drive. Uh, we move the drive from the PC. So first of all, we need to boot up the uh, the Jetson again. So go full screen. So we'll uh, we'll have to accept the end user license here um, before we can continue. And close this again, and then. Uh, Tick that little chat box um, on the left here says I accept the terms of these licenses. Um, we need to define a username password. And just log in automatically because this is gonna be deleted in a minute anyhow. Uh, 
and on we go. Are we starting? Finally. So close this, close this, close this, and then open up a terminal. Well, I need to double click, but that's happening now. So in the meanwhile, we'll have a look at the Discord server message um, that details the installation of, uh, of the whole thing. Um, where it basically tells me that we will need to rename um, the uh, xtlinux.conf file. It will then ask for the password that we set uh, during the installation, just to be sure. Okay, and then up here at the gear logo, you can then go and you can select shut down. And then I will ask you to, do you want to shut down there? Yeah. Okay, so the next thing is to um, unplug the power again. Plug the USB key into the uh, and put it here in the USB 3 port. Just for good measure and then I plug the power back in again. So you can see the uh, LAN light is flashing, so the board is coming online. This might take a few minutes. So here we go. Right, so the board will now shut down, remove the USB, and then before, power, uh, before powering on again. And the LAN light has gone out, so I'm plugging out the uh, USB key. Plug out the power and plug the power back in again. Yeah, so the board is booted up. Our IP address is 10551991154. You can't log in here because um, the user login for the console is something you have to set via the web interface. So uh, we actually done on the on the HDMI here. Everything else is uh, web based from here here on in. The first thing as you uh, get into the screen, it asks you to set a password for the web interface. You have to do that. Set the password. And we're in. At the moment, I only have the LAN connection here. Um, you have um, here on the encoder settings, you have your pipeline. You can have an external audio device. So you can plug another audio device in via uh, USB if you want to. Or you can use the audio from the cam link. In some cases, you may, might want no audio at all. Um, there is a, a newer audio codec available now, so we can have AAC or you can have Opus. Um, enable the dynamic bitrate overlay will give you like a little overlay that shows you um, the uh, bitrates. Here is where your SRTLA uh, relay data goes in the stream ID, the receiver port, the IP. Um, 
and this is where you set the SSH password. If you want to log in at some point, and username is user, and then the password that you set, that's one. And then here you can change the password for the web interface, and you can also put in your Billabox Cloud Remote key um, for that. Also, as updates, um, the system is up to date. As you can see, that blue button there, that's usually where you will update your, your image in the future. So here's the the interfaces. Um, I will uh, you can adjust your bit rate here in the top. Uh, default is five thousand, which is plenty because H two six five at at five thousand is sort of the equivalent to H two six four of about eight thousand. So so now it's time to set up our. Uh, Bella box um, with modems. Um, I'm using uh, the cam link goes into the blue USB three port on the Jetson development board. The two gigabyte one. That one isn't even marked blue, but it's the one that's by its own. That's where the cam link has to go. It has to go in there on its own, not with a hub or anything. The uh, uh, capture doesn't like that. For my 4G modem, I'm using a small USB extender because it's too fat to go into the port, directly into the board. And also it prevents from the modem being broken off. Um, I then use the uh, USB-C PD port of my battery bank uh, for uh, to, to power the board. You can do that with the two gigabyte and the rig computer uh, boards because they have the resistors in there to trigger USB PD five volt. For the four gigabyte development board, that's not possible. It's a bit more difficult to power that one. So it's always recommended to find either a two gigabyte board or this rig computer one. As you can see, there's light in the LAN cable, so um, we know we are online here. I still have the page with the uh, Bellabox configuration open, and you can see it says disconnected up in the top, but it will actually refresh. And there we go. I'm going to do a reload of the page. Log back in again and tell it to remember me this time. And there we go, we have two modems here. So you have ETH0, that's my LAN cable, and then you have USB1, that's my 4G modem. Um, and have a load balance between the two. This whole section with the voltage and the current, um, you have that only on the four gigabyte board, so on the real computer and the four gigabyte dev board. The sock voltage is only for the core. Um, Temperature at uh, the Jetson doesn't really uh, have any issues up to 90 degrees Celsius, so that's fine. And um, the voltage is not conclusive, but as long as it's over 4.7, 4.8, you should be okay. If it goes below that, um, the board will do all kinds of funky things, with, for example, the cam link failing or, or your modems failing. So again, we have the uh, the cam link here uh, as our pipeline. Oh yeah, I need to grab a camera here. Yeah, we better plug a GoPro in so we have an actual video source. I'm just entering the uh, details for the relay. Okay, here we go. As you can see in the audio source, we have now uh, multiple 
Um, the solution so now we can go with the pipeline default, no audio, the coming link 4K, we take the coming link 4K, and then we'll choose AAC in this case just to be backwards compatible. In the SLTLA settings, I have my SLT, uh, SLTLA server and port and, and the likes, and now we start in the stream. And as you can see, it ramps up there to five, six thousand kbps, and it load balances that over the uh, Ethernet uh, and the modem, uh, depending on how much bandwidth is available on either of them. You can see there's the wee computer at the modem. So that's up and running. Everything working. Yeah, happy streaming. And um, I'll be uh, putting a few more of these up in the next few days on the older boards, on the development boards. Um, so see you around. Oh, bye bye.